All right, so I'm editing this web page on Khan Academy, and of course it's all about rabbits. I've decided I want to edit it inside my desktop editor instead. So what I will do is select all of it, and then copy it, and then head on over to my desktop editor. I'm using Sublime Text, but you could be using some other editor. Next I'm going to paste in that HTML and see that it all came out. Very nice. Now you'll notice the syntax highlighting. So we got all the colors showing us the structure of our HTML. The colors in my editor are actually different from the colors on Khan Academy. And this is just the particular theme that I picked. You can pick whatever theme you like best in your editor. All right, so now I'm going to save this file. And I'll save it as all about rabbits.html. So generally you want to save your file names with no spaces, all lowercase. That's a nice file name. Okay, now I'll go on over to my browser, open a new tab, and then open file, and find where I saved it on the desktop. Open that up. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go, we've got it. So it's showing the file from my file system, but now I want to edit it. For that, I'm going to go back to my page, change it to adorable little bunny rabbits, and I'll save it. And then I go back over and I reload the page. And here's my change. Now, when I reloaded the page, I did what's called a hard reload using the keyboard shortcut Command Shift R for the Mac. A hard reload both reloads the page and tells the browser to ignore whatever it has cached locally. Browsers often like to hold on to old versions of web pages so that they can deliver them faster, but when you're debugging, you really want to have the very latest version. So you want to do a hard reload. Command Shift R. Okay, so then if we want to make another change, make the change, Command Set, Save, come on over, reload, ta-da. And that's generally the cycle when you're using a desktop editor, is you're going to make the change, save, go back to your browser, reload, and you just get used to doing that pretty quickly. Now you could even get lucky and find that your editor has a tool for live preview, in which case your editing cycle gets even faster. You'll just have to explore whatever editor you decide to use and see what functionality it has.